like he's got more work. Great. Okay. Hello. Hi. Daddy. Hello. These orders. A Vanguard captain. You. Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. Hello. That must make you my Vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Chief Yassine wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor, accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the archives. You do know what the archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data, but that's a lot easier said than done. Hmm. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Both. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. If Sam is any example of how stubborn the Freestar people can be, then I can imagine how difficult it must be dealing with this ambassador. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Hmm. Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the Ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of Embassy life, and someone who very likely hates her guts. Okay, any other things I should do? Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over, but I can't make any promises. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. 
I'll give them a heads up, you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassin wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Okay. Ambassador Balmore's... a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Well, these days, they're primarily considered a security threat. House Varun Zealots, a fundamentalist outshoot of the group that stayed behind when the rest retreated into seclusion, want nothing more than to send everyone not dedicated to their cause to the Great Serpent in the Sky. But that hasn't always been the case. After they ended the Serpent's Crusade about 70 years back, House Varun did take a real run at trying to normalize relations with the rest of the galaxy. It's why they have an embassy here in the first place, why they were included in the armistice negotiations. But then, without warning, they left, leaving behind, to our knowledge, just the ambassador and his duty under the armistice. Now hold on a moment. There's no reason to assume we're better than they are, despite their cultural beliefs. They certainly come with a checkered past, but there's... An additional wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. What if I do? What if I? What do I do? He's dead. Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. The embassy is still legally House Varun's sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. Ah. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course, but the ambassador has proven more evasive than you'd expect for a man of his age. But we're quite sure he hasn't left the city. The man stands out. The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Okay. What's over here? <clears throat> Hello? Excuse me? Yes, what? Oh, never mind. Gotta right, open here. There's nothing here, so let's go. They have mixers for expats at the embassy every now and then. Only place you can get some. Visitors are only allowed. Always good to get back to Free Star soil, even if it is surrounded by New Atlantis. All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. But the UC never fails to disappoint. I 
just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Official business? Talk to the ambassador. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? <clears throat> ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Ambassador, I can't emphasize how important this is. And who might you... Oh, I recognize that face. You're a co, aren't you? Didn't you run away to help that little explorer's club? Really? An explorer's club? Ma'am, I've signed up to help my friend here, who's looking to stop a whole heap of needless pain and suffering. Imagine if this happened in Aquila City, or Neon. The results would be bad, or, let's be honest here, far, far worse. We owe it to our people to do something. It's a disturbing thought, Mr. Ko. And while it is my job to protect the people of the Collective, the way to do that, I believe, is clear. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. All right. I'm listening. Um. You know that for sure. That is interesting. Hmm. Coes do have a way with words. Imagine how it'd look if the next attack occurred in Freestar space. A fair point. How would it look if the Collective simply sat by while more attacks came to pass? Well, Captain, you... you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in once, <coughs> you get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Agreed. Excellent. Follow me. Reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. All right, thanks. I need to get to Valkroon. Where's that at?
Okay, right here. If you want help, I'm here. Yeah, he's here. What's on your mind? How are you? So, you gotta fill me in on what happened at the temple. What happened? What did you see? Hmm. Noticeable weathering on the rock surfaces could be due to extreme erosion, which differs per planet, of course. So we can't exactly correlate age with that. But it is an interesting observation. Then what happened? I heard you did some stuff and then you changed. I got powers. Okay, good. I like the positivity here. Keep that up. You encountered advanced technology that altered your biology in a way that results in... In what? Superpowers? Basically, yeah. Fair enough. Maybe we can run some tests later. Anyway, thanks for filling me in on the temple and your power. I wonder if we can find any more traces of whoever built them. It just opens up a world of questions. It's so exciting. all this I mean is it supposed to look like this with Varun you just never know what happened here How do I open this? Alright, get that. We have in here. We have in here. Fences. That probably won't work again. Creepy, creepy mannequins. What the fuck? Run!
static. Oh, oh, shit. To the victor goes the spoils. I said that right. Go that way. What's over here? Can't open that. What? Oh, there's two of them. Mother. You got him, right? Let's go, come on. You're both static. What? Oh. We got the power. Oh, what the? Uh oh. Move, move, Sam, move, I need to. Advanced, huh? Well, this could... Hmm. Be like this. Aha! It's two. These two. me with this no I do it the other way. This way. She leaves me with... That. No signal. Great. I just wasted the tracks. Great. Upstairs. There's what, what the hell is shooting it? Can't see it.
What's in here? Fuck. What? I can still. Nope. Undo. Leaves me with three. And then I can do this. No, I can't. messed up. Oh, shit. Got him. Got him. Wait. Just wait. All right. Demons. Locked door, we were trying to go in here. Oh, makes sense. eliminate them oh I'm get it Approach the stranger. Where's the stranger? Where is the stranger? Oh, over here. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Okay. 
He's busy. Great. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Nah. Baseport's in rough shape, but much everything else, not much else was damaged. You see that thing pouring out to clouds of tears, it's called a bottom tree, is it poisonous? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. Hmm. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? Yes. Is that what happened here? A power surge? I take it you didn't have such an experience where you were then. Yes, the entire embassy was thrown into lockdown, trapping me in my quarters, disabling the Venom Tree's filters, and arming the defenses. A disconcerting experience, to say the least. Was the rest of the city spared? Yes, it was. Is that right? Huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now. It cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Ah... Uh, <sighs> An archive code. Mm-hmm. So the UC requires information then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yes, you do. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks? There is logic there. But... If I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. Okay. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage the knowledge you ask for isn't evil no knowledge is it is we who bend it to evil ends oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives not endanger them you have my word for whatever it's worth Sam Co here you got my word too well then I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? Give me a second. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. <gasps> you got time for a quick chat? I appreciate it when you're able. And there. Let it be used for good. All right, thank you. The great serpent guide your path. So why did the rest of the embassy staff leave? Where'd they go? The affairs of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject. Okay. Okay. 
Why'd you stay behind? House Varun committed itself to the armistice. This was said at the time to be the desire of the Great Serpent, and I do not believe the Serpent decides such things on a whim. Okay. So, when my brethren left, I remained, honoring the Serpent's will as I saw fit, as is the right of all his followers. What's it been like being from House Varun in New Atlantis? It was tolerable, even pleasant, when my brethren were here in the embassy with me. We remade this place as best we could into a home we all would recognize. Our native flora, our iconography, our connection to the serpent, they came with us. With my brethren gone, it has been trying. But the Great Serpent has always provided me a path in my darkest moments. Uh huh. The Great Serpent. Is that your god, right? The Great Serpent is so much more than a god. It is fate itself. When our founder, Jinan Varun, left the United Colonies a hundred and forty years ago for distant stars, it was the Serpent that compelled him to found his now great house. The serpent made us who we are today. Its voice speaks to us, shepherding us through the dark and infuses our lives with the meaning the universe so often fails to provide. Alright, thanks. <gasps> Honey, that's, that's not, don't have enough. All right, Sammy wanted to talk. I'm sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Uh huh. Lillian and me, I tried talking with her, and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. How does Cora feel about all this? Well, up until a few years ago, she kept hoping we'd get back together. I mean, Lillian and I stayed married longer than we should have for Cora's sake. But we really weren't doing Cora any favors there. I hope Cora didn't hear anything. No, no, I'm careful about that. I mean, I try and not put down Lillian with an earshot. Which... Well, isn't that hard, really? Ah, Lillian. She's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds... Free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Did you like being a ranger? I never had much passion for law enforcement. But there were days I was damn proud to wear the uniform. And other days, too messy. I mean, we always walk the line well. Lillian is good that way. But some laws I think are horseshit. Of ruining lives because some barroom brawl got out of hand. That never sat well with me. I bet you were good at being a lawman. I could do the job, sure. That wasn't the problem. Traveling, exploring, seeing new crazy things. It calls to me. But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. She didn't even consider it? Not for a second. And she's right. Lillian is where she's meant to be. She always wants to fight the good fight. And the rangers are lucky to have her. If you were that unhappy, you did the right thing. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. Oh! I told her what you told me. That Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know. Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That 
kind of set me off. Why'd you get together with Lee in the first place? Late night stakeouts, shootouts with a lot of leftover adrenaline. Well, we were never lacking in chemistry. Compatibility, on the other hand. I'm sorry, it caused an argument. Yeah, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. Huh. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. Tell Lillian that I give her a chance, but make her understand she has to follow through. If I do that, you all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. <laughs> uh, for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Alright, cool. Sam? I don't know about you, but a fella can do it. If you need me to haul something, I'm willing. Alright, need to give you some. Oh! Hello. Hello. Captain, you're back sooner than. Oh, oh wait. Did, did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore. We're all in agreement. Yes. Both pieces from House Rune and Free Stark looked at and ready to be deployed. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Okay. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there. All right? Okay, report to the Armistice Archives. Um, what? Where do I put it? Did it work? Where to put the oh, third one's over here? Okay. Oh, I just sleep. Okay. Back to her. Back to her. Howdy. There you are. Captain? 
Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Adrian or Cetrian? Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. I'm ready. May take position of a term of data. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Okay. Captain, are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Sure. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Yes. Uh, then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you. But this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this. But we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Um, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? I'll take it to my grave. Sure. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Alright, that's complete. <laughs> 